This was going on, the drama back in Washington. Uh, your former lawyer, Michael Cohen, who worked for you for 10 years, his office right next to yours, right yeah. by yours at Trump Tower, he called you a, a liar, a con man, a racist. What's your response to Michael Cohen? Well, it's uh, incorrect. And, you know, it's very interesting because uh, I tried to watch as much as I could. I wasn't able to watch too much because I've been a little bit busy. But I think having a fake hearing like that and having it in the middle of this very important summit is really a terrible thing. They could have made it two days later or next week, and it would have been even better. They would have had more time. But having it during this very important summit is sort of incredible. And he lied a lot, but it was very interesting because he didn't lie about one thing. He said, no collusion with the Russian hoax. And I said, I wonder why he didn't just lie about that, too, like he did about everything else. I mean, he lied about so many different things. And I was uh, actually impressed that he didn't say, well, I think there was collusion for this reason or that. He didn't say that. He said, no collusion. And I was, uh, you know, a little impressed by that, frankly. Could have, he could have gone all out. He only went about 95 percent instead of 100 percent. But the fact is, there is no collusion. And I call it the witch hunt. This should never happen to another president. This is so bad for our country. So bad. Uh, you look at this whole uh, hoax. It's a, I call it the Russian witch hunt. I now add the word hoax. It's a very, very bad thing for our country. But um, I was impressed with the fact that he uh, when you know, because the most important question up there was the one on collusion. And he said he saw no collusion. So we'll see what happens. But it was pretty shameful, I think.